Good morning, everyone. It's Rafe Cal. We are playing some Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise. And... So, I decided to do a Blue Moon because it's close enough to all the settings without me having to go through and manually do everything. <laughs> uh, so, the goal here is to do seven out of these eight bosses. We have to... So, it's a boss hunt. Uh, we're starting with another Porum, which is a little annoying. Um, Hook Route is guaranteed. The big thing with this is we have to get all of our... We only get three characters. So this means none of the spots where you can normally earn characters have characters. Pretty much everything else is pretty straightforward. It's very similar to what I usually play. So I think we're just going to jump right in. Cecil. That seems like a good start. Baron Key and <clears throat> looks like uh, either officers or guards, which is also a good start. Um, knowing that the first fight at Baron Castle is weak and potentially one of our objectives is good. Um, I think I'm going to bounce around a little bit. First, we're going to get our key items, or our uh, pre characters, and oh, that is the one thing I don't think I checked. So actually, we're going to start here, because I don't remember. And this is going to knock out one of the other things. I don't remember if it was free key item or so we're going to start with Gannons. It is key, uh, free key item. So we get a Luka key. Not super important right now, but that's okay. Hopefully we don't have to use the Luka key, but it is a key item. It's available if we need it, and it is a boss. <clears throat> uh, one of the other things with <clears throat> this flag set is it is on uh, C Neki, which means that your characters don't start with any equipment. Start with these two. Yang. And Edge. Okay. So that's definitely giving us some direction. We have a uh, white mage and three uh three beat sticks. It's looking like a Berserker party. Um, I do want to just finish this out, so I think we're going to go ahead and do up more deals quick. We're not actually going to do the fight, because we definitely need to do some looting. But we're in this part of the world, so just getting up the first part of this to right here. Yeah. This is going to be a lot of early game looting. Um, I am going to go ahead and check the other spot at Watery Pass. Um, we are probably going to need to swap out either our Yang or Arcane or both um, at some point. So, Callum, we want to. 
Callum over a Yang. I don't think we're going to be doing a, a big grind. So Yang isn't great. So that's Watery Pass. Uh, I am not going to do a full loot. We have Edge, Palum, Porum. So we've got Twin for a little bit of early game damage. Um, and then I think at this point we're going to head down to Eblen and loot there. Uh, it is T-Wildish, so we should be able to get some good gear here. Um, we are going to reset out of the monster chests, so the first goal is going to be to find three monster chests, and then to come back and finish looting. That's not a great start. Okay. That is one uh, one side down with no monster chests. So we're gonna go ahead, hop out. None of that was great, but it's better than nothing. And if we happen to find a boss that's uh, doing fire damage, we're in really good shape. Unfortunately, there's not a ton of bosses that cast a lot of fire. You'd think somebody like Mom Bomb would be, but no. Okay. So, Mad Ogre. Uh, we're going to ignore all of the chests. We opened everything but one. So rather than reopen everything, we're going to walk past everything to the one chest we didn't open for exactly that reason. Now, I wasn't paying enough attention. To know whether that middle is worth re-looting. But I think what I'm going to do... Change route's good. Is loot this side now. Perfect. So now we can loot everything. We have a good, well-rounded party. Um, a lot of early game power with Edge and Callum once he gets going. And a lot of staying power with Edge and Cecil. Kane is kind of a middle ground that can do the job. And Porum's a white mage, which counts for something. to the two it was, so we're just going to skip it. <laughs> we know the rest is safe, so we'll just loot the rest. That's fine. Crystal Helm, we can only equip one of those, but honestly, that's a good find still. It's a good amount of cash. <clears throat> and we have that Defense Sword, uh, which is going to be really good for Kane. So... I think that's probably enough gear to start doing bosses. Um, I'm gonna head over to... Oh, Damsian's where the last character is. I forgot about Damsian. 
let's double check before we go too far. Before I take the time to equip everybody. Sid. Do I want Sid right now? I don't. It's not permajoin, right? So we'll change those two back later. But Sid is better early game, and we did get an Earth Hammer. Uh, specifically, we also got a, that Defense Sword, which Cecil can't use yet, but Kane can. So regardless, this is going to be our best starting part. There's a light, uh, light bringer for whenever Cecil gets to become a paladin. Okay, so change. Well, actually, do we want to change? Yes. So we can. Back row glitch, Sid. Got those two fire armors and two samurai gauntlets. Uh, Kane isn't going to be able to back row, but we've got good gear for him. He's got an Aegis shield and the ten sword, so he's going to be in very good shape there. I'm fine with him being in front. Uh, edge. I don't think we can back row yet. But... I think... Dancing Dagger is better than what the other options are. Not as great for gear for edge, um, but it's better than nothing. Wizard hat and silver uh, chain rod. Probably, I can probably actually just go Archer Bow for the first one. Until he gets a level 2 spell, there's no real point. Probably going to be fighting the inventory boss soon, so we'll need to uh, hit up a shop the next opportunity we get. Cat Clock or Edge could be okay, but the elemental ones are way more important for him. I'm not sure how it compares to Dancing Dagger offhand. Dancing Dagger's probably better. Headband. There we go. Elven Bow or Forum. Uh, Archer Bow's probably better right now, but once she gets tier 2, we can switch her over. Uh, it gives a Wisdom Boost. Or Will Boost. I always get those two mixed up. It gives her a, a boost for her casting stat. Darkness Cecil. That's... Fine, but annoying. Never mind. That's just fine.
Justice is not the only right in this world. Concerns about gear should be out the window at this point. Um, that gives us a lot of early game resources. I'm not going to worry about it immediately. I want to get to a store first. I think, given this is a boss hunt. I think I'm going to go ahead and do for Ghoul next. Um, we can do the over or the little overworld boss slots later. We don't have any reason to fight them right now beyond just XP. Mute knife, come back. Mutant Knife's better than Short Sword as well. Um, Chain Dread is fine. It's not better than Defense Sword. Okay. Oops. Mute, mute. Headband. Short and dancing can go away. This is one of the bosses that we need to do. Uh, we do have enough Star Veils for everybody if we wanted to. I guess it'll depend on who survives. Um, we've got a uh, Star Veils queued up for Kane. That's not surprising. Ideally, we want Edge. She survived with five hit points. <laughs> and then HP ran out because it was virus. Um, do we try and get people back up? I don't think we do.
Like, this is a pretty weak spot, but it's not a lot of XP. And it's a long fight if we mess up. Long uh, cutscene if we mess up. It is a required. And everybody gets back up automatically because of the... Or at the end of the cutscene. No key item, just a coffin. I did realize here that I didn't do the west. Like, I didn't stop at the inn here. Well. <laughs> it's like that didn't matter. So the downside here is we haven't actually gotten really much in the way of levels. The good news is this is three encounters, so we'll get some. The bad news is if any of these are rough, we might be in trouble. Uh, I don't think I'm going to... I think I'm going to head straight up and just get into it, do the first fight, and if it goes badly, we can go somewhere else. Uh, we have Earth Crystal that we can loot, uh, the tre Treasury, if we need to, but I'm trying to hold off on that. Vanilla or French Vanilla Mylon? Mylon Z. Yaman. The twin switched over now that they've got some spells. Oh, Brenna. Uh, I think this is another required fight. Which is nice. Um, don't know if this is going to do it by itself. Oh. There we go. That should do it. Power key. Very key heavy so far. CPU. That's fine. It's only got a thousand health. Split between the three, so. Oops. I thought I got in before the wall there because it was going so slow. Uh, unfortunately, we've got a 50-50 shot now of this being back, but, uh, worked out. 
Check out the front line. Edge now not doing back row damage. Okay. Trying to decide how I want to do this. I think I want to keep Palum for now. Um, do I switch Sid for Cecil? That feels like a trick question because Cecil is so much better than Sid. Um, but Cecil's level one and Sid is level. 25. I think he'll catch up fast enough. We've still got Baron and Baron in. Actually, I think I know what I'm going to do. So we're going to do a quick detour. I want to loot Teroya quick. We're going to loot, uh, loot the treasury. see how see if our Cecil's gonna be able to pull his weight right away I mean he has a light bringer it's not like he's not gonna be able to do well it's just how um I totally forgot to actually sell things that was the whole point of going in here just to go okay we don't want that we don't want that we don't want that <laughs> Oh, actually, I should have kept some of those arrows for back row on Cecil. There's actually not a ton to sell. Okay. Lots of good stuff. Let's double check real quick here. Cabrena. It is just Cabrena that's done. Okay. And, uh, Golbez. So, on Wildish, Treasury is usually pretty good. And if we can grab, like, an Excalibur or a Crystal Sword, that throws everything out the window here. Okay. Uh, nothing for Cecil. <laughs> but... Maybe a bit of power. for them. Oh, Stardust Rock. Which does actually make that part of it a little bit better. Um, yeah, I think we've got enough that I'm not going to worry about Sid. The whole point with Sid is that he's very good early game because he's so tanky, he's hard to put down, he's not the best damage dealer, but he is just this presence that's there to keep you going. We don't need that with this gear. <laughs> Zeus gauntlets. Um, and actually, Zeus gauntlet means that we can 
do those o mad ogre fights pretty easily. Poke our head in here quick. Grab a mute bell. So uh, we don't have life potions yet, which would be uh, the other big thing we're missing besides uh, we got cabins. Um, so we're going to get rid of Sid. We're going to take his equipment. We're going to give Cecil archer bow, poison arrow. Aegis Shield, Crystal, I think it's Crystal Crystal for now. We don't have Berserk anyway. And actually, I think we're swapping. Ah, uh, we're gonna go Zeus Gauntlet. Uh, that way we can use cover strats. So the way this works is Mad Ogres are mage giants, and the Zeus Gauntlet is strong against giants. So, we will take almost no damage from those enemies with the characters that have Zeus Gauntlets equipped. Cecil, having one equipped, means that he can... I don't think the Mute Knife's even worth keeping at this point. <laughs> the Diamond is technically worth keeping. Um... but we're probably not changing our party for the rest of the game. Actually, I know we're not, so why am I keeping stuff that is a maybe? Okay, we are locked in. This spot has some pretty hard physical attacks, but... <laughs> uh, we should be able to just wade through her with the stuff we've got at this point. Sure. Adamant. That's good. And we get a free heal. about that apple. So yeah, at this point, unless there's a reason to think we're going to be getting uh, a holy sword, I think we just go. Um, like, trap chests are like the only thing worth doing right now. <clears throat> so maybe like a blind cave. I might do just so we can do the trap chest as well. 
Um, I might do the trap chests in like the tower so that we can steal sirens and then do it. But we don't even really need that much. Like the key item checks are probably as likely, or and the uh, if we get the, the super smith from Coco, those are more likely to get us what we're looking for. Um, you're going to get a new bell. They use counterattacks that like neutralize whatever you are good at normally. So magic users, they counter with uh, Tiggy, which prevents you from casting spells. And uh, physical attacks, they counter with size. This edge is ridiculous right now. Um, actually, ooh, water hag, or I think both blue robes are on our list. So regardless, this is going to be, okay, this is, uh, this is going to be the full alt gauntlet. Should be fine, although that guard in the back, okay, with less health, it should be fine. We just need to be careful because otherwise, I it just said what those status effects they could do are. And if they do their status effects, it's gonna be we're gonna be stuck with it for the rest of the encounter. Virus. That goes a long way here. Probably not worth getting. Ed should literally one shot everything here. I'm okay with getting that out of the way here. Okay, so we've got Bull Gauntlet. Technically, we can go do the actual Earth Crystal checks now. That's two bosses. And a key item. Uh, we know we're not going to get the magma key before we go underground 
I guess we also have all of our overworld checks we can do quick. Check ring. That's amazing. So yeah, let's just do those quick. Um, okay, so we're up to four. We're looking for Mylon, Officer, Pogo Pogo, and Water Hag. Mom bomb is definitely not worth the time. Could be. It is. Okay. Easy Ogo Pogo spot. I mean, it's not the easiest spot. We're probably gonna get hit pretty hard here, but. Cecil Protect Strat is coming in clutch here. That's a problem. That should do it. I didn't heal before the fight or we would have been fine. Um, and quite frankly, I'm fine with that being... Ooh, Ninja Star is okay. And Q3 is not something to scoff at. don't have the hook yet, so we actually can't do the underground. Wait, what's the... Oh! Yang is the fight. I was like, wait, there's not supposed to be characters up here, why is Yang up here? Still no life potions. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that somewhere that's kind of on our way has them. is not hard, he's always just annoying. Thank you. 
That part will be annoying. But it is curable. I love the pig sprites. I do not know all the colors for it. I know that every, like, the ears and hooves of the pigs are different colors based on the palette of the boss that's about ready to show up. Um. This should do it. Yeah. And Cecil had another attack lined up with a Holy Sword. We'll do double damage. Our hook. It either had to be the hook or the harp. I think with what we've got for party gear at this point, uh, we are going to loot, but we're going to loot and uh, and do the, tr uh, the trap chests. Again, because Cecil should be able to t help tank that. Uh, we did just pick up another defense sword, which I think is better than what he's got.
Wow. Uh, this has been some really good finds. Um, normally it's not the best, but it's better than the nothing he has equipped right now. So we'll take it. <laughs> some pajamas. Um, back. Uh, yes, we want him to have the protect ring. Wait, was there a black robe up there? Yes. It's another five whiz, which means at this point he is very, very powerful. Um... Clear in some space. Um, I think we probably don't need the ice claw at this point. Oh, cabins. Or tents, rather. Uh, those Bacchus wines let us, er, let us berserk our party members. There we go. And this time, we're doing the opposite of what we did last time. We are going until we find the monsters, instead of uh, avoiding them. Still, man, are we to ice? is not what we're looking for, but we'll take it. And at this point, I think we just skip the rest. I don't think we're going to find what we're looking for in them. We need, uh, and we technically could, but the percent is really low. Miss Dragon. That's annoying. That means we can't berserk. Still need to find the Mad Ogres. Probably not going to take any damage from this, but it's worth trying. It took more than I expected. Oh, we started with 20 life potions. Okay, that's much better. I wasn't paying attention to that. 
Um, normally, you only start with 10, but this we got a basic and a freedom kit. That's perfect. We sh don't need to keep hunting for them. Tiara. Uh, not amazing, but uh, we can equip that on Corum. So normally it is a black magic item, so it is not a item that Corum uses well, but it is a much better defensive item than the wizard hat she's wearing currently, and technically it makes Twin more powerful. <laughs> Like, it's pretty, pretty strong in that regard. We have not found any good staves yet, so um, at some point, hopefully, we'll find something. That's honestly the one thing that we're missing right now, is a like, lunar staff or a silent staff. Oof. Um... This might be rough. They do weird counterattack stuff when you get too aggressive with physical attacks, and they eventually, if you wait too long, then they use uh, Toad. fast. So silkwebs cast the sl are the effect of the slow spell twice. This is going to let us get more attacks in between the mist. Make sure we actually have time to finish casting. Quake. <laughs> that means it's going to get a counter on us. That doesn't do much. Oh. Their health is way less bad than I thought.
I saw how low edge was and the other numbers felt like they were similar. So it seemed like they were all low, but it's actually just that Edge is the only one who actually took a bunch of damage. This should probably get close to finishing it by itself. Eh, well, less than I thought. That, that's okay. I mean, less close than I thought. Still a lot of damage. I'm hoping I could sneak that in. fight. A couple mistakes on, uh, like it got a couple counterattacks in, which aren't dangerous, they're just long. The goal is to go fast, and yeah. Okay. So, I think our next plan is tower. Definitely tower. Uh, see the guards over there. Uh, that is one of our fights that we still, or the officer is still one of the fights we need to do. Um, that also is going to have a couple trap chests we can potentially do. Um, gives us more chance to get our holy swords and our uh, stabs. And also gives us the opportunity to steal. will be nice. The one thing the Horum's Cry command does is increase the chances of you successfully stealing an item. I'll leave Cecil up because he's going to be a pain to take down.
That's not what I was trying to do. Uh, that is the other reason that I kept Cecil up. Uh, <laughs> was in case I screwed up. Not that I doubted myself, but I totally doubted myself. Crap. Well, we got... Okay, okay. Fair enough, game. Uh, six sirens isn't terrible. Where are we at? Six key items as well. Technically, we could go do more if we need to, but... how badly we're going to need to. <laughs> like, my big problem at this point is the fact that Porum's HP sucks. We need enough where we need to grind enough that we can get Porum's HP into a reasonable point. Um, which can take a while. But depending on how long this boss hunt goes, we may end up fighting a bunch of bosses on the moon or something, and that'll take care of it. So I'm gonna save the sirens until I have 10 key items, that's gonna double our experience gains. Use them efficiently since we have six, and I screwed up the fight. I really don't want to go find another trap chest to fight. Uh, getting the Avenger there is also really nice. Uh, officer fight is a joke. This is going to be technically done in one round. And we're also going to get a bunch of XP from it because we can life glitch it. So we're going to Coffin the Officer. So there is one way around uh, Cecil not being able to be berserked while wearing the crystal armor. And that one way is using the Avenger. It is an automatic, persistent berserk effect. Uh, we're not going to leave it on all the time. We're going to leave it on as we go into the next fight because the uh, cannon room is a joke. We're going to hope that's one of the bosses we still need. Um, it is. Wow.
Wow. Okay. Uh, that's our crystal. We technically don't have to do anything else. Uh, we don't have the darkness crystal or the pass yet. Uh, so we do need to find that. But outside of that, we are good. Uh, that is two more key items that we just got. As we exit, we should get a third. And we can go check the Land of Summon Monsters. For another one. That will be free. Rat Tail can be turned in for a free key item check. So we've got lots of opportunities here for key items, and that will give us the opportunity, like I said. Uh, I think I'm actually going to go ahead. Ooh, Lunar Staff. That's one of the things I wanted. Uh, I am going to open some chests on the way out. Just because... Now we know <laughs> we're not going to be doing moon bosses. So we really are in, we're in grind and go mode. We just need to find the darkness crystal and grind. There we go. Crap. I forgot to equip the Avenger. But we got an Excalibur! At least that gives me a good reason to go switch it quick. That does actually help. Uh, that makes me feel slightly better about us not having uh, a ton of grind available. does not matter as long as it's a key item. Um, let's go do Rat Tail quick. I think that's faster than Seven Monsters. At this point, we want to get our 10. We want to check, do any quick checks we can do for key items to try and find the Darkness Group. That is the goal. That Excalibur and Lunar Staff are literally two of the pieces of gear that I was like, this would be the thing that we need. Um, so I'm very happy. You know, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just, everything comes together, and you're not sure whether it's like a curse or a blessing. Okay, so that was a tenth key item, as well as... Check. Yeah, 10 key items, and it's the Darkness Crystal. Perfect. We'll do these fights quick. Uh, we are going to be walking... I think we'll do a couple fights here, and then we'll go to the moon for the rest. Because we do have a ways to go. So this is going to be getting up to gold dragon range.
Cool dragons are worth a lot more XP. And we can always do like the ribbon room if we need to as well. Only downside is we do have to walk down the looming terrain, um, but again, that's not a huge problem at this point. <laughs> Considering that we're an hour 15 in right now and we're in go mode, um, I'm not going to feel too bad about that little extra walk. So, on the way down, there is a fight we can take. Uh, it's two gold dragons. It's worth 60,000 each. And if you get a life glitch off, then it becomes even more. Way, we are going to real quick pop him back over to Defense Sword for this, and we're going to give Cecil the Avenger. Uh, the reason for that is he's back row glitched. There's, uh, obviously, the two dragons are in different rows, uh, so having him be the primary damage dealer is going to be better. I guess the one thing we don't have is good speed control. Um, we're gonna have to probably go hybrid strats with uh, Palom bouncing some nukes if we can get up to nuke. <laughs> like this is low enough. We may just be this may be just a sacrifice Palom to the uh, sacrifice Palom and pray. You guys have 8,000 hit points apiece. Uh, this is a lot less than I was expecting offhand. So we will berserk another person. See, these guys can be dangerous if you let them keep going. Or if they get lucky with those entangles. guy. I 
know as soon as I stop and do something else, it's gonna switch targets and we're gonna miss our life. We need to get that life glitch off since we only have a couple uh, sirens. Pelham six levels, Cecil six levels. Okay. Also, I feel like an idiot. We have the ability to back row glitch edge. We're just not using it. So we use those first two sirens to get up to the point where we can actually do damage to these guys. Um, like, like you can see here, Cecil's still only doing around a thousand. Edge is going to be doing around two thousand now. hit on that front one should do it. The back one's getting close too. I haven't been paying enough attention. Okay. Did I not back row glitch him right? It doesn't feel like he's doing enough damage. As much as he should be. Not back row glitched correctly for some reason. I thought I gave him a bow when he first came paladin, but I clearly did it wrong or something. So, only got 120,000 that time. Uh, I don't think I've explained the life glitch. Basically, when you kill a regular enemy, you can use a life potion. It revives the enemy with zero hit points because of the way that the stats are set up in this game. And so, as a result... That's, that's where we're at. <laughs> uh, 
basically you get the experience for killing it twice. Um, which in this case is 60,000. Twice is a real quick... Really? Real quick 120,000 or 180,000. Right there, you can see how weak uh, Kane is compared to Cecil and Edge. Um, there's Nuke, White. That's what we want for spells. So I'm guessing we have here. Yeah, we have here four. We have White, and we have. Um, she's at 18,000, or 1,800. That's right on the edge. Actually, real quick before we continue. Yeah, that's reasonable. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and try. Um, I'm gonna go Scalibur on Cecil to start with. That looks good. I don't think we've got anything else we can do here. Definitely want her with pistol. Better than nothing. So this should be pretty straightforward, I think. We'll see. I'm gonna have to get lucky on the low roll on or if if when it gets to a second uh, big bang. Other than that, we're in okay shape. We have uh, all the stuff we need, all the goodies. And honestly, if we had gotten the uh, life glitch off on that one additional dragon, I would be probably exactly where I want to be, which is, I, I'm, I'm surprised that I accidentally planned it that well. <laughs> I'm not going to say accidentally, it's more that I didn't do math to do it, it was just instinctive. It felt like it was about right. Um, Kane is not going to be using the Avenger. So we can put a shield on him.
Gerard. Test aroma sprite, please ignore. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, so, they custom... Uh, they do a custom sprite for it every time. Or there's a pool of like 500 random sprites. Probably much bigger than that now. Where's the cure three? There it is. Probably should have done the uh, cure with her, but that's okay. We're gonna get our damage going. Bacchus Wine is gonna let him cast it on himself. So there's a glitch with the Avenger that if you equip it mid-battle like this by just switching, it keeps the battle power of the other weapon. In this case, the Excalibur has 180, which is about double the normal power. So in addition to casting Berserk on himself, Cecil is doubling his attack power. Uh, Palum is going to get uh, Reflect on Zeromus, but it's only a thousand hit points, which matters a lot less to him than us. <laughs> a thousand makes a big difference to our party, it makes very little difference to Zeromus. Uh, Palum might be dead. That was an extremely low roll on Palum. annoying. Uh, that's gonna make all of our... or that's gonna make our reflect and all of our... actually... I'm just gonna do a direct cast nuke. He's gonna respond with a... Uh, with a nuke of his own, but... Perfect. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> Palum is going to die the next Big Bang or Meteo anyway. And with Edge coming back around, we're going to use these box wines. So yeah, in those situations, Palum was effectively doing about 8,000 damage a hit because the reflected tears were cutting into that. Now, he ended up doing about 16,000, which is, you know, four rounds of uh, Edge and Cecil fighting. Pray for a low roll here, and otherwise we're just uh, crossing our fingers to the end. Forum made it. Okay. Uh, that Crystal Ring has a really good magic defense, and uh, I guess that can go a long way. And the Tiara, actually. Those are two of the highest magic defense items in the game. And we're in Meteo. Uh, there's like four phases to Zeromus. Meteo is the last one, so if you're seeing Meteo, you know you're almost done. And that brings our time in at 1.34. 40, roughly. Um, I started at about the one minute mark. So, yeah. Uh, that is easily one of the fastest seeds I have ever run. 
Uh, this category ended up being a lot better than I was expecting. Uh, I think I did one Blue Moon Seed before. Boss hunts aren't usually my favorite, but when they go like this, I can deal with it. <laughs> uh, the one thing I will say is I, well, no, I think Pelham probably pulled his weight more than Sid. Like, Sid probably wouldn't have even done that 16k that he did. So, yeah. No, I think this party ended up being the right choice. Uh, the nice thing with Sid would have been he could I can uh, mess with his agility a little bit more, but I didn't have any agility items. And Hallam's agility is low enough that I think it was okay. Um, Yeah. Like, overall, this felt like a really clean seed we got good characters we got good equipment for those characters um like the exception was we didn't get good equipment for Porum. uh and we ended up getting decent equipment for Porum, but we didn't get her uh like it, she wasn't wearing armor for almost the entire game so yeah like when that's your worst thing that happened that's a pretty good run. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. Catch you next time.